In the last video, we were talking about the Lasius Niger colony that is running low on water in the test tube. And I asked you guys for your opinion. Move them from tube to tube or give them a choice. And of course, we are making something to give them a choice. Please watch the video till the end. There will be a cute surprise and another ask for help. If you like the videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. First, we need to make a list of things we would like for the design. Easy test tube connection. It should fit different sizes of tubes and connect quickly. Easy to extend, so that we can make connections to outworlds, nest, tubing, etc. Easy way to access. An easy way to place food and can clean if necessary. Nice visibility. Of course, we want to see what's happening. It should work for different size ants. So try to make a standard, but it is adaptable. I started with crafting the connector. This side with the wedges will be useful for connecting other pieces. And on the other side, we can build whatever we want. The pass through, I thought it would be nice to make it in the shape of a little house. This is what I ended up with. The front side is the connecting side, and the other side is where we can make a flexible piece for the test tube. It would be able to fit up to 20 mm in diameter and 150 mm long. It also has a kind of groove around the side so we can make a nice lid for it. So, let's print. Now, I made the queen tube room lid. As you can see, I used the original piece as a counter. And there we have it. Let's print. Next, I wanted to make a room for more connections, but also to feed. Again, I started with the standard connector, but I ended up with this. A nice corridor with four different connection capabilities the ants have a small stairs that they can go up and there's a nice place for a plexiglass lid. So let's print. Next I made the connectors. They have the double wedge shape to connect the two pieces together. I made them in two different sizes. Also, to use them to close off the queen tube room. But first, we're just going to use the small one for the laziest Niger. Let's print. To close off the unused ports, I made some blinds. One fully blind and one with some air holes for ventilation. Let's print. The last pieces that we are printing today are the connectors for the test tubes. This is going to be printed in TPU, which is a flexible material. As you can see, we have different sizes in two steps. So these two combined have four different sizes. Let's print. This material is a bit harder to print, so let's see how it goes. Here we have all the printed parts. Before the assembly, I washed them all. We start with the double corridor and placing two connectors. On the other side, I'm gonna put a blind with ventilation. 
and another blind for closing off the empty port. Now a queen tube room with a flexible TPU connector. I'm gonna use two because we want to move them from one tube to another. Everything fits nice and snug. And of course, peeling. This plexiglass was ordered pre-cut. Since the decision wasn't made yet, if we wanted to place them from tube to tube or make them decide themselves, I had to give them water in some way. So I did the normal tube to tube. But now we are going to use our own new setup. This is a new test tube with water, which will connect on one side. We're going to put a lid on this and hopefully it will move there. Now we're putting the nest on the other spot. I'm very happy to see that the ants are not in full defensive mode. They have been in the light for a few days, so they have gotten used to it. Now we have the opportunity to clean the tube a little before we hook it up. Look at them. And there you have it. Our setup is complete. The ants are very happy in their new space. They wander around a lot. Also going in to the darkened tube to get water. As you can see, the ants are making a bit of a mess where the mealworm is. So I thought, let's make a bigger tray for them. The ants love the large tray. Inside the tube, the brood pile is growing. Even though it's almost completely dry now, there's no sign of moving yet. A few days later, they are still in the tube. They even have a pupae now. It's the small cocoon in the middle. It's the last stage before becoming a worker. It's again a few days later, but look what's happening. In the top right corner, you can see a worker saying to the queen, come on, it's time to go.
after getting the last pull, she finally leaves the empty tube. I'm really happy that we made the decision to create the option for the colony. As you can see, the tube is fully dried out and the queen now has a nice new tube. At the beginning of the video, I said that I had a cute surprise. Well, here they are. Meet our new colony of ants. They are called Temnothorax nilandri, also known as acorn ants. They are one of the smallest species that live in Europe. In the next video, we will give them a new environment to live in. And I was thinking, maybe we should give them a name. You can leave your suggestions in the comments. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching Crafting Hand.